is a view. Lovely. So, this is me, scrolling through countless YouTube videos watching other people walk, camp, take photographs and be outdoors. I usually don't watch these videos for very long before I get the itch to get out myself. So, this is also me, on a Monday night, packing the van for a truly last minute trip at 10pm so that I can go and camp in my van and walk up a big hill. So come with me as I take you on my journey to Ribblehead Viaduct, walk up Wernside, one of Yorkshire Three Peaks camp out at the station in pub and have a cheeky pint or two three four four five just yeah okay enjoy I have arrived. Uh, I'm at this station in pub near the uh, Ribblehead Viaduct. I know, it's nice. So, uh, the plan is to walk up Wernside in the rain. It's raining a lot. I don't mind. It's only water. My skin's waterproof and it's all good for the head, isn't it? Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to nip into the pub now, speak to the guys there, just make sure it's all right for me to stay for the night. Get the, uh, I think there's a key or a code for the um, drinking water in the toilet and I'll let you know about that if there is. Um, and yeah, let's get, uh, let's get soaking. <laughs> so I've been to the pub to see if I can park here, go on my walk, come back and then stay here for the night and the pub's closed. So the walk's probably three hours, three and a half hours. So that gives me plenty of time and plenty of light. So what I might do is just hang around at the van for a bit, get more togged up in my all weather gear, uh, get my boots on and whatnot, and then wait for the pub to open, speak to them, make sure they've got my reg number and everything and take things from there. Obviously no fire pits or anything like that. It's not a campsite, it's a car park. Uh, but from here, I can see there's a waste disposal. Uh, there are toilets and yeah, and the pub and beer. I mean, what more would you want from that? So let's get togged up in my wet weather gear and we'll crack on from there. Okay, see you, bye. So we're on the GoPro. I don't know what the audio's like because there's no microphone on this. So again, I do apologize. And it's now time to go to the pub and make sure they know that I'm here and register my van and stuff. So let's go, see you bye. <laughs>
Right, so that's that done. Uh, basically, all you needed to do, sorry if the audio's bad, all you needed to do was just give me your reg number, your telephone number, the date that you've checked in, and then they give you a bit of an info sheet with the, um, uh, what's it called, the code for the toilet on, which changes, by the way, so uh, don't think you can come once and then sneaky sneaky. Uh, and then there's got, they've got food on tonight, food on from 12, in fact, so, uh, yeah, let's go. Get very, very wet. Earn my beer <laughs> and uh, try to attempt to walk up Wernside. on the lens, uh, nothing I can do about that I'm afraid, that's going to be uh, the order of the day. Uh, I was saying to myself, because I talk to myself a lot when I'm walking alone, and um, I was saying to myself this bit is like the easiest hardest bit. Now the reason it's the easiest hardest bit is because it's easy on your legs because it's flat, you know, and it's nice to warm up, but it's the hardest bit because, oh, this is a walk too soon, <laughs> it's the hardest bit because you could easily just turn around and go back. So your head's always saying, oh, just go back, nice and warm in your van, go sit in the pub for the afternoon. You know, that's what goes through your head, my head anyway. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. and or video quality uh, we're just about hitting the cloud line now and Wernside to be fair is just one big circular route yeah uh, okay this is this is basically what I'm doing uh, so I reckon there do you think ah, done basically man spanked that so. <laughs> So basically now I've just come off that mountain, the wind has stopped, the rain has stopped and the fog has gone. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, but this down bit, honestly, it's horrible on your thighs. Because it's kind of like angled, the first bit's a bit treacherous. Just be careful on that, but this is just, it's just down and you just need to just like rah, 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 wobble, 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 wobble. <laughs> Right, we're having issues. <laughs> You'll notice I've got my coat on because the diesel heater won't kick in. Um, it starts, um, the pump starts to go and everything like that, but then the pump just stops and it doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna have to look into that. Having looked at the air intake filter, it's kind of crumbly and a bit weird. So it could be that, uh, but I haven't got Wi-Fi. I haven't got my phone, so I can't check. Uh, so once I go into the pub and I get Wi-Fi, I'm gonna check to see whether any of these symbols on here that mean anything uh, for me to fix. Then I thought, do you know what? I'll charge my phone up um, and went to go charge it up and the there's moisture inside it because everything got wet, like everything got wet. I've got every all my wet stuff 
uh, that I took off and it's all it's like it's been in the washing machine it's that wet all the wet stuff is all wrapped up now in a plastic bag in the front out of the way so that don't make any more condensation and wetness in the van so this is basically what I'm doing now <laughs> I've got the van heater on on the Delta 2 and uh, I'm trying to warm well dry out the port so I can at least charge the phone the wet weather just kills everything I've realized why I don't go walking it wet <laughs> It's a good job that I've got this Delta 2 and electric fan eater because I were getting super cold uh, and now it's like it's nice. It's lovely in fact. It's beer and pub and food time. I hope it's not busy and I can get served straight away. I hope it's super quiet because it's a Tuesday night. Shouldn't be busy. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Right, I've just decided. Pub time. <laughs> but look at this for a view. We didn't really talk about this earlier but van. Ribblehead viaduct. Oh. That is perfect, absolutely gorgeous. Check this. Oh, this is where I'm sat here, just chilling, fireplace. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> well, what a lovely evening it's been. Um, there were a couple of squadders that came down that had done the three peaks, I'd chat with them. Uh, a lovely couple that I've just met that were subscribers and that was lovely if you're watching thank you so much for subscribing that's ace you know you are uh, I'm not making it up I did have friends um, but I didn't want to do anything to video while people were here because it's weird um, but yeah literally just the staff left and it's half past nine time to retire so I can get up early enough to see if I can get a photograph of uh, Ribblehead in the morning so I'll see you in the morning take care in fact no I'll see you in the van I'll set up the bed and I'll see you then and I'll say good night then okay see you bye Good morning guys, uh, sorry I forgot to uh, sign off last night, I got back into the van, got chilled out, got the diesel heater on, laid down, fell asleep, <laughs> so I woke up to like a biblical temperature van um, at about 28 degrees or something daft and uh, turned the diesel heater off, then woke up this morning and we're like, it's freezing so the diesel heater's on now, uh, got dressed immediately, the bed's all still set up and everything but, um, but yeah the reason I'm all dead excited and stuff is you can probably see on my face, the sun came out, there's clouds on Ribblehead Viaduct and it just looks so nice. So I had to get out and do some photographs. So I'll pop the picture up now. I really like it. I like it in camera. I don't know what it's gonna look like after I've edited it, uh, but I really like it. It's nice. It's uh, uh, half past eight now. I've been up for about an hour waiting for this sunrise to appear and uh, it's just been cloudy and foggy and not very nice so it's i'm super excited that that's happened but yeah i had a, an amazing sleep last night absolutely gorgeous sleep it's super quiet here um that obviously as you probably know the diesel heater uh, did start working it must have just been some sort of fuel problem um and i took the so i've got a, a tank on the inside of the van it's not it doesn't go to the uh, fuel tank and i'd left the lid on and the breather in the lid it's got a little hole uh, it must have been clogged so I undid the lid and then it started working again so uh, so yeah diesel it is on it's nice and toasty in here what temperature are we on 21 degrees lovely uh, it's about five degrees outside so I'm glad the diesel it is working um, and I even when I got back in the van last night even got myself a couple of cans out to have to put a movie on no, nothing. It were about, I don't know, quarter to ten when I fell asleep. So I am wide awake right now. Right, okay, I'm ready to go. It's hard to leave a spot like this because it's so lovely. Oh, I mean, you've seen it before, but yeah, the station in at Ribblehead Viaduct. Uh, yeah, come down. Apart from early on this morning, maybe about eight o'clock, big trucks kept coming this way, which wouldn't have been a problem if there hadn't been a cattle grid. Uh, so don't expect to lie in. Did think about doing another walk today, but all my clothes are absolutely soaked still, so uh, that's not going to be happening. Just got the engine on, helping do demistage. Everything's packed away and done. And, uh, and yeah, I shall be back here, I reckon, because there are many walks I could park here and then uh, go up Ingleborough as well. Ingleborough, bra. Um, there, uh, there's another walk. Don't have to go up Wernside. You can go all the way around that way. Come all the way back around. There's, there's hundreds of walks around here. Uh, and even if I just wanted to just come here for a chill out, uh, have a beer, sit in front of the fireplace, 
and, uh, and get some photographs of Riverlead Viaduct. That's obviously an option as well if I just want to reset uh, the mental health button, shall we say. But yeah, I'm feeling reset already. Almost demisted now, it's time to go. Thank you so much for watching. If you've not yet liked to subscribe, please click on the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel. And comment down below if you've got any questions. I'm sure you've got many. Take care, see you on the next one, bye. So I've been to the pub to see if I can go on my walk. face there we go good looking all right yeah Freaking backwards and freaking forwards and freaking backwards and freaking forwards. Freaking freaking. Yeah.